welcome and uh, welcome to the Holland State Park. Uh, my name is James Brandis and we're going to talk some more and I'm going to work some more on finishing a painting. Uh, the painting behind me I, I started on a day when there was a, a similar light in the distance. Uh, you can see big red. Uh, and it was very, very hot and there was a haze. And um, You'll notice uh, in the painting and in the actual uh, scene before me now, there's a difference in the color of the water. Uh, the sky is somewhat similar, um, and the light on the, in the foreground is somewhat similar. Uh, so things to think about when uh, coming back to a painting. So uh, I got the painting back to my studio, and I'm looking at it, and um, one of the, whenever there's a painting problem, uh, it's usually a thinking problem and uh, so this painting uh, when I look at it, it tells me that I was thinking big red this is a painting of big red and what did I do um, I, I put big red like right in the center and um, to me it, it looks bloated and and, and and if you notice the distance in the channel and what I'm actually uh, looking at much different. There's a number uh, of problems with this painting um, that are more about thinking uh, than about painting. But if I can recognize them uh, as the artist, uh, ho hopefully I can make a stronger painting. And, and that is our job uh, as the artist to uh, see, to recognize what we're doing. Um, so I'm going to start out by thinking correctly. And, and so. Um, I, I think a more correct thought will, will be um, a late spring day um, with a nice clear light um, and, and a beautiful early summer scene. I'm going to think along those lines. Um, and the, the other thing, and um, you may be wondering, in, in this is an example of what can cloud or complicate an artist's thinking is why do I have the tape? Why am I not using um, the entire ca canvas? So um, the painting is a request and the request was three foot by four foot and what I had ready was a three foot by six foot canvas so I marked it off at four feet and if the painting is successful then I will restretch it on a four foot stretcher and if the painting is not successful there's a good chance I'll untape it and see if I can make the whole canvas uh, work as one painting. So I got a number of options here and when you an artist takes on a commission um, and the commission is usually something along the lines of I'd like a painting of big red which starts a whole chain reaction of wrong thinking which is we end up with what we have here. Um, Part of the problem with uh, Big Red here and, and getting it to look right and to feel right is that there's nothing really um, in comparison to it. So it's easy to, for something uh, to get bloated when all we do is focus on that object. It's not as if I'm painting uh, that lighthouse in relation to another dwelling next to it. But um, one thing I do have is the foreground that I think um, what I really actually need to do is push the whole thing up, uh, give it the foreground that it needs, and, and take away the importance of that structure right in the center. So a uh, couple issues that I'm thinking about, and uh, I'm going to get started, and, and uh, thank you for uh, joining me.
thank you for uh, joining me today. Hopefully, uh, I've made a more truthful painting. Uh, I'll know for sure when I get it back in the studio. Uh, who knows, I may be meeting you back out here again uh, tomorrow if the sun is shining. So, have a good weekend. Be safe, be well, be inspired.